stain cell hair transplant. A traditional hair transplant and a stain cell hair transplant are similar procedures. However, a stain cell hair transplant takes a small sample of skin from which hair follicles are taken. As compared to removing a significant number of hair to transplant to the area experiencing hair loss. The follicles are then produced in a lab and implanted into the balding areas of the scalp. This enables hair to develop both in the areas from which the follicles were removed and transplanted. Now, stem cell hair transplants are only theoretically possible. The research is ongoing. How do stem cells work? The body's stem cells have the capacity to develop into a variety of distinct cell types. These are unspecialized cells that the body is unable to utilize for specific roles. They can however divide and regenerate themselves to either continue as stem cells or change into other kinds of cells. By splitting and replacing damaged tissue, they aid in the restoration of several bodily tissue. The procedure Italian researchers successfully complete eight a stem cell hair transplant in 2017. An initial punch biopsy is performed on the patient to obtain stem cells. During a punch biopsy, a cylindrical sample of tissue is removed from the skin by rotating an instrument with a circular blade into the skin. The stem cells are subsequently extracted from the tissue using a centrifuge, a specialized machine. It leaves a cell suspension that's then injected back into the scalp in the areas of hair loss. Many research teams are focusing on stem cell hair loss therapies. A special process is used to remove the stem cells from the fat so that they can be injected into the scalp. This procedure takes approximately 3 hours. The result, if any, can vary from person to person. It may require several treatments over many months to see results. Some research has found stem cell hair transplant can be effective in treating different hair loss conditions including male androgenic alopecia also called male pattern baldness, androgenic alopecia also called female pattern baldness, cicatricial alopecia hair follicles in which hair follicles are destroyed and replaced with scar tissue. Stem cell hair transplant recovery. Following the procedure, some discomfort is anticipated that should subside in a week. Side effects of stem cell hair transplant? There is very little information available about the possible side effect of stem cell hair transplants. Stem cell hair transplant success rate? The research available on the success rate of stem cell hair transplant is very promising. Conclusion The stem cell hair transplant treatments being researched are not yet available. Stem cell hair transplants offer options to people who aren't candidates for the hair loss treatments currently in use.